What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I want to show you where to get all of the legendaries that are in World of Warcraft through all of the expansions. Now the reason I'm making this video is because there's actually two positives to getting these legendaries. First off, you can use them during the time walking week, they might be useful, because your level scales down to that expansion, so using a legendary of that expansion just might help in some cases. And then the other reason is that you can get an achievement for wearing that legendary. Now, not making it, not having it in your inventory, but you have to actually be able to wear it. So, for example, I am a hunter. If I were to get Sulphurus on my hunter from Ragnaros, I would not be able to get the achievement on this character because hunters cannot use maces. Not even survival hunters can use maces. So, that's just an example. So with that being said, I'm going to go around to all of the raids and just ways to get these legendaries and show you guys where they are. Okay, first up for vanilla raids, there's actually two of them here in Molten Core, and one of them that we're about to look at right now is Thunder Fury Blessed Blade of the Windseeker, where you have to get one part from two bosses. Uh, Gar is one of the bosses, and he has a 4% chance to draw a legendary piece to make Thunder Fury. So I actually already have Thunder Fury. I got it on my Hunter some time back because I was running this raid for um, transmog purposes mostly, and it ended up dropping from both bosses. But, uh, nope, didn't drop, but that doesn't really matter. Now the second half of Thunder Fury is gotten from Baron Geddon, who's about to patrol down here again. Baron Geddon is right here. Uh, that is where Gar is. We're still in Molten Core, and as I said before, this is the second half of Thunder Fury. You need both halves to, uh, get it, obviously, so we're gonna kill him right here. Oh, we pulled the other boss, that's fine. Um, and... Nope. Now, Death Knights, Demon Hunters, Hunters, Mages, Monks, Paladins, Rogues, Warlocks, and Warriors can all get this Legendary. As I said before, I already do have Thunder Fury. Uh, let me see if I can find the achievement. Blessed Blade of the Winds. Yeah, I got this uh, in 2014. But once you get... Well, actually, you just need one of the parts to start the quest. It is in the top left portion of Silithus. You get this Vessel of Rebirth. And you start the quest, and then you need both the bindings to complete the quest. But on top of getting both the bindings, you need to get 10 Enchanted Elementium, which you can buy on the auction house, but it's probably very expensive. It's a legendary quality bar smelted by, uh, well, smelters. And to craft it are regions from Blackwing Lair. So three Elemental Flux, uh, one Fiery Core, 10 Arcanite Bars, and... Uh, one elementium ingot. I think that yeah, I think you can get fiery cores in uh, molten core, but you need all of those items times 10 smelt 10 enchanted uh, Elementium to get thunder fury blessed blade of the wind seeker All right So the second one is at the end of molten core from Ragnaros and it's called sulfurous hand of Ragnaros It's a two-handed mace so the only classes that can wield it are death knights druids paladins warriors and shamans and what you actually get from Ragnaros is an item called the Eye of Sulphurus which is why I'm doing this on my Death Knight. I actually have the Eye of Sulphurus uh, on my Hunter but Hunters cannot use two-handed maces so yeah there's that. Now once you actually get the Eye of Sulphurus uh, you actually need to make Sulphuron's Hammer which is made by blacksmiths and the regions to make that are 8 Sulphuron ingots which you can get from Molten Core, 20 Dark Iron Bars, 50 Arcanite Bars, 25 Essence of Fire, 10 Blood of the Mountain, 10 Lava Cores, and 10 Fiery Cores. Now all those items you can get, well, some of those items are smelted by blacksmiths, and then the rest you can get from Molten Core. So we're going to kill him right now, we're going to see if I get the Eye of us. If I do, then that would be pretty awesome. I actually have all those regents on my Hunter, just in case I ever get it. Oh, he drops 10 Essences. Uh, set out a clothes chest for your raider. Oh, okay. Nope. So this next legendary where you are at Burning Crusade in Black Temple for the War Glaives of Asnoth. So I guess it's technically two legendaries. They drop from Illidan Stormrage at the very end of Black Temple. And as I said before, there are two of them. They each have a 5% drop chance to drop from Illidan. Warriors, Rogues, Death Knights, Monks, and Demon Hunters can all uh, wear these War Glaives. So you do need to wear both of them to get the achievement. Now this next one is in Sunwell Plateau, and as we see, we're about to fight. Kill 
Jaden right here. And it is a bow called uh, Thoradal the Star's Fury. Now, I actually already have it. I got it some time ago. Uh, I got it in 2015, apparently. So I think I was getting like transmog pieces when I was getting that. But yeah, Sunwell Plateau, legendary bow. And it has a roughly 7% drop chance. And hunters obviously can get this. Rogues can, uh, even though rogues can't use bows, they can still equip them. And warriors can also get this legendary as well. Now here we are in Wrath of the Lich King and we're coming up to Old War. Now the legendary here is called Valinir Hammer of Ancient Kings. And there's kind of a, a lengthy-ish process of getting it. I actually made an entire video on it, which I will link in the description, and it will be an end slate at the end of this video. But essentially you have to pick up this legendary quality item that has a chance to drop from bosses called a Shattered Fragment of Valinir. Uh, you need 30 of them, and then you just do some other stuff. As I said before, I made an entire video on it, uh, which it will be linked. And Paladins, Priests, Shamans, Monks, and Druids can get this mace. Now this is Ice Crown for Shadowmorn, the next legendary. It is a two-handed axe, and the only classes that can get it are Warriors, Paladins, and Death Knights. Now I also made a video on how to get this legendary. It's much more lengthy than the last. It's a, it's a fairly long quest chain, uh, but that will be linked in the description, and it will be at the end slate of this video if you want to know, uh, well, how to get this legendary much more in depth. Now here we are at Cataclysm in Firelands for the next legendary, which is Dragonwrath Terragos' Rest. It is a spell casting staff, and this is just pretty much as lengthy as the Shadow Morn quest chain. I made an entire video going in depth on how to get this legendary. It'll be linked in the description and an end slate at the end of the video. But anyways, where it starts is you kill the first trash pack in Firelands and you will get a quest called Your Time Has Come. Now the thing is, not everyone's going to get this quest. Only certain uh, classes, obviously, but all also certain specs of those classes will automatically get the quest. So any mage, it'll pop up for uh, druids with balance or resto spec, any priest, shamans that are elemental or resto, warlocks of any spec, and monks that are with Mistweaver. So you come in here, kill this trash pack, and it will give you a uh, quest called Your Time Has Come, and it will tell you to go to uh, your major city, so Stormwind or Orgrimmar. Now here we are in Dragonsoul with the Fangs of the Father legendary. Uh, it's a Caverns of Time, and this is a rogue-only legendary. So you want to come into Dragon Soul and you accept the first quest from this dude, Lord Aphrazastrez. Uh, yeah. And once again, I made a lengthy video on how to get this quest uh, that will be at an end slate and linked in the description if you want to see more in depth on how to get the Fangs of the Father uh, legendary for rogues. Now here we are at Mr. Pandaria for the legendary cloaks. Now the thing is, if you didn't play during Mr. Pandaria, uh, well, you won't be able to get these cloaks. Sorry, they were taken out of the game. Now if you did already do the quest chain to get the legendary cloak, well, uh, you can actually talk to... Is it this dude? Supplier of the Black... Yeah, Supplier of the Black Prince. And you can get these cloaks, which are the non-legendary versions of them, and then you can buy this Timeless Essence of the Black Dragonflight to uh, turn it into a legendary. Now these are the only legendaries in the game that you can transmog your current cloak to look like. So just keep that in mind. Now here we are, Warlord's Draenor for the legendary rings. Just like the cloaks, they actually took the quest line to get them completely out, which I, I kind of wish they didn't do. I wish people could come in later on and then redo those quest lines. But if you did already do the quest line to get your first legendary ring, you can come to this NPC called Zuti Fizzle Fury and Zangara which is a Northeast Talador, and he sells them 1.6k each. So yeah, just uh, to reiterate, if you did not quest during Warlords of Draenor and you did not get the Legendary Ring, uh, you're out of luck. So anyways, that pretty much sums up, uh, I guess, pretty much all the Legendaries. I'll get to Legion in a second. Out of all those Legendaries, there are 10 that you can currently still obtain. So that's Sulphurus, Thunder Fury, uh, both of the Warglaives, so that's two, Thoradal, Valinir, Shadowmorn, Dragonwrath, and then Golod and Teriosh, which are both of the uh, rogue legendary daggers. So just some more statistics to it. Uh, out of all those legendaries that are still obtainable, and I'm going to be counting Warglaives as two, and same thing with the uh, rogue daggers. Rogue daggers is two. Warriors can obtain six of them. Paladins can obtain four. Hunters can get two of them. Rogues, six. Priests can get two of them. Death Knights can get five of them. Uh, shamans can get three of them, 
mages can get two of them, warlocks can get two of them, druids can get three of them, and then monks can get four of them, uh, and then demon hunters can get three of them. Once again, that is not counting the cloaks, that is not counting the rings, because those aren't obtainable anymore. Technically, kind of, I already explained that. Now as far as the Legion goes, which is honestly my least favorite way of getting legendaries, it's the whole gambling system. Uh, you can get legendaries from just about any source in Legion. Just running down all the sources, uh, you can get them from dungeon bosses, raid bosses, world bosses, emissary caches, arena wins, raided or unraided battleground wins, PvP, strong boxes, mythic plus weekly caches, rare mobs, treasures, Bling Trong 6000 gift packages, relinquish gear tokens, uh, the Paragon reputation bags, and lesser and greater Argus invasion point bosses. And there are a ton of them. For Death Knights there's 19, for Demon Hunters there's 15, Druids 26, Hunters 19, Mages 18, Monks 23, Paladins 19, Priests 22, Rogues 15, Shamans 18, Warlocks 18, Warriors 16, and there are 11 uh, legendaries that are shared between all the classes. And then there's also a few legendaries that you can craft as well. And then something that they actually added in 7.3.2, once you get every legendary for your class, uh, you can actually start getting legendaries for other classes. And they are buying on account, so you can mail them to that class. But yeah, there's that. Uh, honestly, my favorite way of getting the legendaries are probably Cataclysm's way. Uh, that's the one thing that they did right, where it's just one long quest chain. I understand the whole concept of everyone getting a legendary, like how they are in Legion, but I'd much rather everyone have a legendary quest chain that is very long, difficult, and then leads to a legendary. Uh, maybe legendary weapons, for example, for like the next expansion. Uh, they haven't said it, uh, much about legendaries for Battle for Azeroth, uh, but because artifact weapons are going away, legendary weapons might be kind of fun to take their place. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's the entire video. If you liked it, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.